Hey everyone, it's me, Taylor. I had an all-nighter last night, so I'm kind of tired. But I still wanted to look really pretty because I'm going ice skating, which I don't really know why I wanted to look pretty for that. But I really wanted to get a tutorial out for you guys because I was watching this one girl. What's her name? Like, Spricket24, something like that. She has red hair. She's like, she's, she's older. She's really, really, really pretty. And I was looking at her makeup, like, while she was talking, and she had the prettiest makeup I've ever seen. And, um, one of the videos, I have no idea which one, to be honest, kind of had a look like this. It is just a matte, kind of more subtle, smoky eye, not as dark, and some baby pink lips, like bubble gum. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and yeah, let's get started. So, to begin my matte, smoky eye, I'm going to start off by priming my eye using Urban Decay's Primer Potion. Since it is summer, it's really, really hot, and you want your makeup to stay on, and this will keep it there, and it'll make the colors more vibrant. So, just... Put some on my lid, a little bit underneath, but not too much. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Revlon Matte Eyeshadow. Sorry about my voice. My voice is always like this, a sore throat. My Revlon Matte Eyeshadow in 002 in the color Peach Sorbet. You can get this at any drugstore. It's super inexpensive. On my low Cornell Maxine Mop 3A7 inch brush. I got this so long ago at Michael's. I got this like four years ago. But it still works really good. They're really high quality, especially for paint brushes. And uh, they work just as good as the MAC brushes. So I'm going to get a good amount of that onto my brush, tap off the excess, and then put this on the inner half of my eyelid. You might need to like reapply it a few times. like keep going over it just so it's really opaque because it is sheer and it's a really light color. So now that we have that, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take my Coastal Scents 88 color eyeshadow palette. This is the matte one. I'm going to take this gray color right here, the fourth one down. It's kind of a, a light grayish, I don't know. And I'm only going to take a really small amount of this onto my brush because I don't want it to be too pigmented. So I'm just going to take a little bit, tap off the excess, I'm going to put this on the outer half of my lid, blending it in with the other color we just used. It works so well with this look. I feel like this color was like made for like smoky eyes like this. It's so pretty. And I haven't gotten any like much use out of it, so I don't know. So you just want it to be sheer. It's blended in. There's no harsh line except for right there. But that'll be fixed when we do highlighting. So next thing I'm going to do is on the exact same brush. <laughs> I'm going to take more of that, but only on the tip. So instead of getting on the whole thing, I'm just going to get it on the tip of the brush. And I'm going to put this into my crease, going about halfway in. Using the same brush for a lot of this tutorial. Um, I've just found that this kind of applied it really well. And the next thing I'm going to do, on the same brush again, I'm going to take this black color in the very corner, just the bottom one. I'm barely going to get any of this. I'm going to tap it in the color about two or three times and tap off the excess. I'm going to super lightly hold the back end of your brush. That's a tip. It makes the color a lot lighter and not as like, I don't know what it does, but it just makes it lighter because you have less control. So hold it more towards the back. And very, very lightly put this in your crease. So now that we have that, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get a different brush now. I'm going to get out my MAC 217 brush. looks like this. just going to use this to blend those colors. Just going to blend the crease. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my MAC 227 brush, looks like this, and I'm going to take that Revlon matte color again, the Peach Sorbet, I'm going to highlight my brow bone. So 
So the next thing I'm going to do is eyeliner and I'm going to be taking my MAC eyeliner, Pearl Glide Intense Eyeliner in Black Line. This was limited edition. It's black with kind of a gold in it, but it doesn't really show up too much. The reason I'm using this because I had something wrong with my eye, like there was like an infection. And this one was the eyeliner that like I hadn't used really. Like I didn't use any eyeliner while I had it, but my other eyeliner won't sharpen. It's a long story. But this one, it works really well. It's a really great liner. So first I'm going to line my tie line, which is your inner rim on the top. Everyone says it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt, but it does tickle a lot. Like, I hate doing it, but it looks so pretty. So, I'm just going to pull it up, and I'm going to edit the rest of this out. So, I attempted lining my tie line, and my eyes started to, because I figured it would get more down my face than anything, but it's lined. It just isn't as dark as I would like it to be, but it's lined. So now I'm going to line my upper lash line pretty pretty thin line and I'm going to do my waterline. Actually, I'll do my waterline first because I I don't play by the rules. Okay, so now that I have my eyeliner done, I'm going to take the black from the mat one more time. And I'm going to just take my MAC 219 pencil brush. You can use an angled liner brush, but mine wasn't clean, otherwise I would use that. And here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to go over the line to darken it so it will stay in place. I'm going to go on my waterline as well, which I will show you that. But first I'm going to do my top line. So just kind of go over it with, I'm not really pulling too hard, or not wrinkles, <laughs> I'm just going to kind of do this, this will keep it in place longer and make it a little more darker and like defined. And now what I'm going to do, this does not hurt at all, I'm just going to pull this down a little bit, just a little bit, I'm just going to pat the black eyeshadow on top of that so it'll really stay. That doesn't hurt your eye or anything like that so don't worry. Next I'm going to take my MAC Opulash Mascara in black and just put a coat or two, whatever you want, on my upper lashes. So that is the finished eye look, just a matte, really nice grayish, smoky eye. It's pretty wearable too, which I like. So now for cheeks and lips. So for cheeks, I already went ahead and did my blush, and I used the MAC Mineralized Blush, blush in Gentle. It looks like this. It's kind of a plummy color. So I just have a little bit of that on. And for lips, I'm going to go for a light bubblegum pink. Um, a little bit more of like an unnatural pink. I don't know. I saw this in a video. It just looks so pretty. So, an unnatural pink. So, this is the MAC Viva Glam Gaga. It looks like this. This is the old one. But MAC Snob would work really well for this. I have that one, too. This one's just a little bit smoother. So, I'm going to put some of my lips. Kind of a Barbie pink you want. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this matte smoky eye and I'll see you soon. Bye everyone.